Well, many of us know the Quad Cities has a vibrant running community. Nearly every weekend, there's a chance to lace up the shoes and support a good cause. Jesse Codling and Brian Dorfeld are here to talk about a brand new event, the City's Spring Classic. Welcome back to both of you. Thank Thanks you for so having much. us. We know when you're in the studio, uh, there's going to be something fun to talk about every single time. Uh, Brian, this running event, um, in a way, kind of takes place of the Easter egg scramble um, in some ways. Um, it's something that people got used to. It was a spring running event. Well, now they get a really, really cool spring running event um, that's going to be coming up at the end of the month. Um, so talk a little bit about why you felt like it was time to maybe do some updates, make some changes. So, um, like most people know, in 2022, we took over the Coco Bino, which yep. was a fall event, and uh, that was kind of the, the brother to the Easter Egg Scramble. And when Jesse and I teamed up to take over that race, we just, him and I were just so Halloween enthusiasts, that we, uh, was a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. We, we came up with the village zombie run. Yeah, and so much fun. Yeah. I did it this year. It was an absolute blast. Yeah, we're, we're doing year three this year. We're super excited about it. Yeah. And then shortly after Thanksgiving, I got a call from the Handicap Development Center, and they were explaining to me the new logo and the new branding and, and what their direction was moving forward. And I reached out to Jesse, and I was like, you know what? It's yeah. um, Shutting down the East Village on Easter is, is a lot for a lot of people and, and for the city and for the police department, and um, it's something that we just kind of took this option opportunity to move it to the Brady Street Stadium to get empowering abilities more physically involved than like on yeah. a volunteer basis. We, we wanted to completely dismantle the East Rig Scramble and, and rebrand to, to really shed light to what, you know, Handicap Development Center rebranding to uh, empowering abilities and, and create a race that's focused on them solely. And it almost, and we'll get to it in just a minute, but I will say it does feel even more inclusive the way that you Absolutely. guys are doing it this year. Um, um, so uh, talk a little bit about empowering abilities, Jesse, for folks who in our community who may never have come into contact with or um, been touched by this organization. Um, they, they do a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, for instance, a lot of people don't know that empowering abilities uh, has their own silk screen and embroidery uh, company, mm -hmm. and they provide, uh, you know, livable wages and jobs to uh, folks with uh, handicap and disabilities in the region, so. Yeah. Uh, Brian, this event is April 20th at Brady Street Stadium. Um, there are two different 5Ks. Now we're gonna start with the one that we can all participate in, which is the community run. Um, it, the course, though, is a bit different than most of the races we've signed up for around here. Yeah, if you've ever had the opportunity to run the 5K to Kinnick, you get to finish on Kinnick Stadium. So I worked really hard with the, the school district here to be able to start and finish on Brady Street Stadium to kind of give you that same kind of track and field atmosphere. Um, so you're going to start on the 50-yard line. Wow. You'll make your loop on the track. You'll head out, and you'll make your way to Duck Creek Bike Path. You'll do an out and back. We'll have a nice little hype station, hydration station at the halfway mark. You'll come back, and you'll finish right where you started. And then, um, yeah, we'll finish the day with an elite 5K. Yes. So I've been on the, on the horn. Um, 24-7 calling runners from Chicago to Minneapolis to Des Moines here in the local area right. um, to get some of the fastest runners in the Midwest. So while all the open 5Kers are enjoying their post-party food and beverage, they can sit in the stands of the stadium and they can watch and be some, inspired. Yeah, some fast some fast guys and gals. Yeah, it is it yeah. is truly for me at least it's super fun to watch folks that you know they've made almost a career out of mm -hmm. a hobby just being being very fast. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, there's a kids fun run as well because uh, kids whole entire families are invited to this. Yeah. Um, so tell us about the fun run. Yeah. So we're gonna have uh, a fun run around the track and this will oh, be a great perfect. opportunity. One or two laps. Yeah. That's good, yeah. yeah. This will be a great opportunity uh, for kids that are curious about track and field to, to get that experience. Uh, we'll also have an ad adaptive athletes uh, victory lap portion uh, where folks from Empowering Abilities uh, will be joining us. And our goal is to have a big crowd out there to cheer those folks on. That just sounds like the absolute best, yeah. mm -hmm. best part of this because uh, like we talked about in the beginning, um, you know, proceeds going to this organization, well, that is wonderful. But being more inclusive of the folks that are part of this organization, I think just elevates the event even more. And and this is a fast, flat 5K, too. Yeah. Yes. So this will be wheelchair and stroller friendly. If you're if you're replacing the Easter egg scramble or if you maybe avoided the Easter egg scramble because in the past. Because of the hills. Because right. of the hills. Yeah. 
18 total feet of elevation for this one coming up on April 20th. So wow, we yeah. love we love to hear it. Um, so you guys are going to have music, tailgating, um, bagels, bacon, beverages for the folks that have registered for this event. Uh, there's also a T-shirt that you can get, uh, but you need to register within the next couple of weeks yep. in order to secure the T-shirt for that, which makes perfect sense. Uh, this sounds like a great time. Uh, what would you say to encourage people to consider signing up? I mean, empowering abilities. Yeah. yeah. Put your best foot forward. This is a great way to, to if you're looking to get into running um, and you're looking for some inspiration yeah. to just start being active, um, this will be probably the easiest 5K in the Quad Cities because we do have a lot of elevation in this area. So, yeah. and, and, or else it's the middle of summer where it's nice and toasty, where right. it's kind of difficult perfect like time to mix. Year, yeah. Perfect yeah. route, course, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get that information on the screen for folks. The City Spring Classic is Saturday, April 20th at Brady Street Stadium. There's a 5K, a kids run, an adaptive athletes race, and a corporate relay, please consider signing up. Uh, now to register, visit the cities.run. Jesse and Brian, as always, a pleasure to have you here in studio and, and talking about what Thank you're you passionate about. We appreciate, appreciate it. it.